Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make the cheapest 3D printed auto leveling probe for your 3D printer. My probe was remixed from DFP Touch from Bruno Porto. <laughs> Bruno Porto. Yeah. I've printed all the parts out of white PLA, no supports were needed. Optical end stop black should be printed out of black filament, but you can simply paint it with black marker. You will also need thread inserts for the plastic enclosure. I've got here one M3 screw which will work as a probe. Also prepared one spring which I took out of regular bow pen. You will also need SG90 tower pro servo which will work as latching mechanism. The regular optical sensor will work as a way to precisely determine when the probe touches the field plate. So, the very first thing you wanna do is put the threaded inserts into the plastic case. I will be using my spare soldering iron. It's actually a really simple process. First you put the inserts on top of the hole and then you simply push it in slowly with soldering iron. Make sure that you're not using too much force, as you could bend the plastic. It's also important to use separate soldering iron for this. Don't use your main soldering iron for any plastic related task, you will damage it. After a short while you should now have a ready to assemble case. Now that you have inserts installed, you can install the probe. Make sure that the flag part moves freely inside the case, it's very important. Put the spring on the M3 screw which will work as the leveling probe. Make sure that the spring is strong enough to bounce back the screw. Now you can put the screw with the spring into the case. Now use regular screwdriver to screw the probe into the flag part. You don't have to screw it all the way in, you can adjust the length of the probe. Once again, make sure that the probe moves freely inside the plastic case. The optical sensor needs to be installed after the probe. It works by detecting the flag movement when probe goes up and down. It's pretty tight fit, so you might to adjust the sensor socket slightly. It seems that my flag jumps inside the sensor. This can be easily fixed by trimming the end of the flag part. I've trimmed the flag and now it works as it should. Now it's time to install the Tower Pro servo. The original design featured the 3D printed servo horn, but I found it easier to cut the existing one. The servo is meant to be installed in a way that its movement would prevent the probe from bouncing back. You should adjust the horn angle properly before putting the servo inside the case. As you can see, the probe moves freely when the servo's horn is in downward position. When I rotate it upwards, probe won't bounce back down. This will prevent the probe from going lower than nozzle, which would cause issues during print. Finally, it's time to screw the top cover onto the plastic body. You don't actually need it, but it makes it look way better. I will be using the two M3 Torx screws, both are 14mm in length. They actually have a ton of these screws, way more than 10k. That's the main reason I'm using them in my designs. Sometimes longer screws are obviously necessary, but most of the time these ones will do.
top cover is a bit uneven on the side, that's because there is no space for sensor beams. I've already fixed that in the files, so you don't need to worry about it. And that's how you make a depth sheet auto leveling probe for your 3D printer. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you found this mod as useful as I do.